what's up and welcome back to my channel it has been so long since I have posted anything and actually I've been like in the works of trying to edit new videos but for some reason I'm having a big issue with like uploading things to YouTube for some reason so hoping to get that figured out because I literally have like two videos already edited and just like waiting to get onto YouTube so I'm gonna try something new and see if this one will upload um I don't know I just I hope I hope I can get it um so today I decided I was gonna do an ipsy kind of like I don't want to say like unboxing but because <laughs> I kind of cheated and already looked in it but um, I figured I'd share with you guys what I get on Ipsy and I'll explain a little bit about what Ipsy is in case you don't um, know what it is and I'll show you what I got in my October, no, when is it? It's November, my November bag and I'll walk you guys through everything so I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so a little bit about what Ipsy is. Ipsy is a monthly subscription and it's kind of like one of those beauty ones. It's $10 a month and you can sign up and you go online and you make your own profile kind of about things about you, hair color, skin color, things that you like um, when it comes to beauty, makeup, hair products. And then every month around probably the second or third week of the month, um, you get a uh, bag and in the bag there's I think it's five items usually um, some are deluxe sample sizes and some are just sample sizes of all kinds of different brands and all kinds of different beauty things that have to do with skincare makeup hair and things like that so I think it's really fun my mom is also subscribed to it I think I've been subscribed since August I believe so I've been getting it for a couple months I've been really happy with what I've got um, the one thing is like it's so hard when I have so many sample sized things um, I don't know what to do with them sometimes so uh, yeah I really like it and I'm really excited to show you guys what I got in my November bag so each month you get something that looks a little bit like this and it's in this really cool metallic pink bag. I, like I said, I cheated and I kind of already opened it, but and I kind of know what's in it. I just quickly looked in it, but before I decided to make this video. So this is the bag that you get. It's really fun. It's like really exciting when you open my mailbox and like I see this pink bag. It's, it's really exciting. So um, once you open it up, there's two things that come in the bag. You always get um, a little like pamphlet about what the theme of the month is. So this theme, it's rock starlet um and then it just kind of tells you on the back how to like um review the products that you've gotten and things like that um and then you also get the bag itself so each month you get a little makeup bag which i think is awesome and they're really good quality makeup bags again sometimes i just have i have so many now and i'm like what do i do with all of these little makeup bags but i've come up with some ways to do it i have one in my purse i just put little stuff in it and put it in my drawers and stuff like that but um this month it looks a lot like uh kind of like constellations but it has you know the makeup on it sorry for the horrible lighting i'm trying the webcam because my camera is having an issue but i just really wanted to get something up so um you open it up and all of your products are right in here ranging from high-end products to drugstore products as well also products that you may not really know about which is I think is like the best part about it um so the first thing I'm going to pull out is my first product and it's called the hey honey good morning honey silk facial C serum um for all skin types it looks a little like this so you have a little sample size of this basically you what does it say apply it under your day or night cream excellent to be used under makeup um let's see I don't know I've never I've never heard of this company before um I don't even know what it smells like so it kind of looks like I don't know I'll put a little dot on it it feels really smooth it has a really nice smell to it it's kind of like a floral scent like I thought it would have been like a honey scent but it's kind of floral yeah it's definitely floral but it smells really nice it goes on really smooth it's not sticky at all like you would think something made of honey would be like. It's nice and smooth and I am really excited to try this out because now, you know, winter's coming and my skin is already dry, but it gets even more dry in the winter. So I'm super excited to try that out. The next product I'm pulling out is a Model Company Contour Stick. So I've never actually used a cream contour before. Um, I usually use like Lately, I've been using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil because I'm really fair skinned. 
Um, so I have a feeling this is, I can't even open it. I'm trying to open it so I can swatch it for you, but I have a feeling this looks like it's going to be kind of dark, even though I put in my profile that I have really fair skin. Um, sometimes things, you know, come a little dark and doesn't woo, look awesome. I almost just dropped it and got it all over myself. Let's see. So it looks like this. It's just kind of, I thought it was a lipstick when I first got it, but it's not. Um, let's see. So it goes, it's really smooth. I'll tell you that. This is what it looks like on my hand. I don't know what it's going to blend out to. Did it blend out? Oh, it's kind of, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, maybe it might not be too dark. I've just never really used a cream contour before. So I'm excited to try it out and see what I think about it. Um, it looks like it's not really showing up that well, at least on the back of my hand, even once I rub it in. So maybe using like a beauty blender or something would help kind of make it better. I don't really know. So I am interested to try that. The next thing I have is um, a Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. So you even get like really good brands. Like Too Faced is probably my favorite brand. Um, and you get, you know, sample sizes of their stuff or deluxe sizes. I think this one's more of a sample size though. I've gotten these before. So it's just a little better than sex mascara. Really awesome to kind of put in your purse or your travel bag or whatever. I think the brush is like bigger than, you know, the actual thing. But yeah, so that's really cool. I really like Too Faced. I really do like this mascara. I've used it before. I will say though, I have been using the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara and I've been really liking it. So I haven't really used my Too Faced one a lot, but maybe now that I have a sample size, I can go back and switch between both of them. So I have two more products. The next product I got is a Lexi brush. Ooh, I'm so excited. I love getting brushes in the bags. Love it. So this is a Lexi brush and I'm not really sure what kind of brush this would be considered. Um, it's really like, it's not dense at all. So I wouldn't really say it's a stippling brush because it's not that dense. Maybe for blush or highlight, I'm not really sure, maybe contour. Um, but yeah, it's really soft. I like the bristles. Usually Lexi is the type of brushes that you get in these bags. I've gotten one other brush. I don't know if it was Lexi, but it's actually, my mom has it now. So um, this is kind of the first brush that I've actually got that I've been able to use. And the last thing that I have in here is a Ico London Skinny Liquid Eyeliner um, to line and define. It looks like this. It says, when in doubt, wing it out. Easy to use pen. So let's see. I have been using and loving the Kat Von D uh, tattoo liner. That's what I've been using and I really like. So this comes with like a little eyeliner here. Good travel size. The brush looks a little something like this. It kind of, I don't know, it looks kind of not that, I don't know, it looks kind of fat. Let's see. Actually, the the color is actually really good. It comes out like really good. So it's not dry at all. So I guess I'll have to try this because it's uh, nice and dark. So I'll have to try it. But that's everything that I got in my Ipsy bag. And... I'm excited to try out some of these products that I haven't tried out before. And if you guys have any other ideas or videos that you'd like to see, go ahead and leave a comment below. Again, I'm really going to try and get that other video up. It was actually a bedroom tour. I just recently redid my bedroom. I have a lot of Disney touches in it. So it was kind of like showing you what my Disney touches in my bedroom are. So I'm hoping that um, I can get it uploaded to YouTube. I tried a couple times and I was having issues with it and it wouldn't necessarily upload. So I'm hoping I can get that up. If you have any other ideas or anything, make sure to leave it in the comments below. Subscribe for more. I'm really hoping to get some stuff up soon since school is coming to a close for the semester. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.